Hello and welcome to Mickey Art. My name's Michelle Edhouse and today I'm doing a flip cup. Boop, boop. I like flip cups. Yay, yay. Um, <laughs> now this is a 45 milliliter or one and a half ounce um, shot glass. That's a really big shot if you ask me. But anyway... So I'm going to use this and I'm playing with some colours. Now this one is Prussian Blue and as you can see by the stick it dries really dark blue but also quite a dull blue. Um, this one is a mixture of Viridian Hue and <coughs> Deep Yellow and if you see in there that's quite a nice colour. Uh, still a little bit dark. Then we've got our orange. This one is Vermilion Orange. And I've got some silver. And I'm tossing up at this point whether to add a bit of white in there as well. I think I might. Might just put some in the bottom. Now, let's just see. I remember somebody saying to me in a comment, why don't you spray the inside of your cup with silicon and then all your paint will just run straight out. Now I've seen somebody do that in a video. I can't remember who it was. And um, I think I'll give it a go. So here's my... 808 silicon. Just gonna give it a little bit of a spray and see what happens. Do you know what? I'm always willing to try different possibilities. So I'm gonna put in the bottom of the just a little bit of white just because I can. <laughs> but that's all the white I'm gonna put in there. So, I'm going to start, I'm going to put multiple layers of the colours, um, just small amounts in, of each one, and um, I keep reaching for that blue to start it off with, so here we go, and orange and blue make brown, maybe. Green and orange. <laughs> Who knows what these colours are going to do. If you really want to know what your colours are going to do, a good way to do it is just put some a little dab of each of the colours down. Um, and mix them together with your fingers. And see what happens. Find a clean finger. So there you go. <laughs> if you're not careful, you get mud. Is what happens. Now I don't want this too dark, so I'm going to try and keep the blue to a minimum. And I'm going to start pouring from up high. So why pour from up high? The higher you pour from, the more velocity it has and the more it's going to mix. Um, so if you want to... See how that's just almost disappeared completely down in there? Whereas when it's on the close down, it's not so intense. So, flip cup. How do we do a flip cup? When it's that full, I highly don't recommend just trying to flip it. Unless, of course, your board that you're flipping on is too heavy. 
it's much easier just to sit your cup on top, uh, sorry, your canvas on top and turn the whole thing over together. Just like that. Now, I have an awareness that this is just not going to be enough paint. So I'm going to spread some of the blue around the edges and just make sure it goes all the way around. I could be wrong. I'm, all this might just get pushed straight over the sides. Oh, can you hear my push pins squeaking on my paper? Um, and I'd rather be wrong and waste paint than be really annoyed with myself and not have followed my awareness. Would you rather be right or free? How many arguments that people in this world have are because they've decided they're right and the other person's wrong and they're not willing to be seen as lose the argument? I'd rather have... I'd rather be wrong and have the joy and ease of life and living than then fight for my point of view because that's all it is it's just a point of view Alright, so I ended up using my finger. Finger painting, yay! How many of you are resisting finger painting because that's what kids do, when actually that's what you'd really love to do? <laughs> I dare you. Paint. Paint is a plaything. It's All right, I knocked it a bit and it, some of it escaped. Let's see what else is going to come out of there. Wow. This is a cool combination and there's definitely cells going on in there, guys. A bit of a tap and pop some of those big air bubbles that are already there. Oh, yummy! See, I know it wouldn't be enough paint. There's some cells. I go back to the center a little bit and then come back down the side. So what are you creating? Are you creating joy in your life? What if every 10 seconds could be a new choice? Oh, I'm creating crap. No, that's not what I desire. Okay, cool. Choice. New choice. New 10 seconds. What am I choosing now? some of these bubbles that's what I'm choosing pop oh that one didn't want to pop
Yeah. Now it's time to start letting some of it come over the sides. But I've got a couple of corners still to do. Look at the size of those cells, guys. Yay! But it didn't work. You know that whole spraying the the pot would get rid of get all the paint out? Didn't. So I'm just going to use what's left in the container to create some pull. But I do want to make sure I get all of that hodgepodge paint that I just added off. Otherwise it could be quite yucky mess. Do the same thing on this end. Tell you what I would love for you guys to do is to tell me what you see in this painting. What do you see? I see lots of orange. <laughs> Good answer, Michelle. Come on, you can do this. Pull it down. Now some of you might be asking, why did you use that hodgepodge colour instead of just adding more of the blue? Good question. Don't know. I just did. All right, so I'm just going to touch up the edges as we go around on this. <clears throat> so what are your favorite colors? This month being, what month are we? September. <laughs> um, our challenge in the Acrylic Pouring for Fun Facebook group is for, of, or through something for the bathroom. The, the bathroom. So, what's the colours that you think of when you are in the bathroom? Is it a water? thing is it mud from that you're washing off is it foaming toothpaste what do you think of about bathrooms what's what do bathrooms mean to you And just grabbing some orange straight from the pot and filling in that 
side there because it's really not pulling down very well down here and I'm not excited about this color of mud that's in there now let's see if it'll do it So I'm gonna do the orange thing again. I've done some green there. Let's hopefully make that corner a little bit more in keeping with the rest of the painting. Hmm. How does it get any better than this? Come on, paint. You can do it. You can do it. You know you can. Maybe that's the corner that it's leaving for me to sign it. I actually really like it. Really like it. Which is really unusual for me. <laughs> right. Okay. What's next? Close your gap. What's next? Close your gap. Pussy cat, pussy cat. Do I love you? Mm, not ideal, but it's okay. So, next is my torch. There's been a lot of cells come up already in this. They've stretched and... Let's see if there's any more cells in here. few little air bubbles. We've got some interesting stuff happening where the silver is. It's almost like it's crazing. Separating the other colours. That looks like a fish head to me. No, no more cells have come up. Definitely popped some air bubbles though. Hmm.
you know what? It's interesting, but it's not. It's not lighting my torch at all. I'm wondering what to do with it. So, pop in the comments what you would do with it at this point, if you were me. What would you do with it? Mm-hmm. I'm really getting to swipe it. And I'm not sure there's enough silicon in it to do a cool swipe. Hmm. Okay, so there we have what was left in there, plus some extra Prussian blue, and that mixed together, because of that white that was on the bottom, has made... Kind of a dull now. I'm going to swipe. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pour. A ribbon around the areas that I'm gonna swipe on. Okay. Now, the only swiping technique that I seem to have any success with is a damp paper towel. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay my paper towel over, um, you got to squeeze it out though, like very lightly damp. Why do you dampen it? Well, um, actually that one's better. You dampen it to make the... Make it so that it doesn't absorb all the paint straight into your paper towel. Because you don't want to be stealing the paint. You just want to be swiping it over top. So what I've got there is a straight stick. So that I've got a nice straight edge there. And then I'm going to drop that down into the blue, drop the paper towel, uh, hopefully. Okay. <laughs> so I, I wiggled the paper towel backwards and forwards and it's given us kind of an interesting looking it's 
Google Maps. Can you see those? Which is good. I've got some of the silicon bubbling up through. But not much. Okay. <clears throat> Straw. I just put paint all over my nose. When you're doing lots of blowing through a straw, you got to um, be aware that sometimes you start to get saliva splurting out the end. How's that? No. I'm starting to like it more now. I like that. <laughs> That's cool. Weird, funky, kind of sea like. What about you? What do you do with ones that aren't working? Now, what am I doing right now? I'm running my finger around and mushing the edges. 
because in some places you've got bright orange blotches where if this picture actually went over the side of the page it wouldn't be bright orange <laughs> oops wrong finger all right how's that Oh, I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. Wow. Wow. Yay! <laughs> I would have liked it if we had more cells in here. I have a feeling I need to buy myself a new torch because this one's really starting to be a bit obnoxious little bit temperamental it's probably the best way to word it what this torch is doing hmm i like it i like it a lot now how dark is it going to dry? That's the question. So, you guys are lucky. You get to find out how dark it dries really quickly. I have to wait a couple of days. So, I'll be back when it's dry and you'll get to see it in three, two, one. Here it is all dry. I like this one. It's fun. It's funky. It's, oh, you can think of it as all sorts of things. It kind of almost looks like a jellyfish disappearing over the edge, you know, <laughs> with its little tentacles. Um, it could be a wave on a weird beach. It could be all sorts of things. I still like the little fishy though. He's cool. He just looks like a fish. Maybe I'm looking at it the wrong way. Maybe this is this is the weird beach and the waves are pulling back and this is the funky sea. <laughs> Hello aeroplane. So I like it. I like it. I definitely like it. And if nobody has snapped it up beforehand, I will be putting this into the 200 by 200 exhibition here in Rotorua over December, January. Um, I love it. I think it's cool. Let me know what you think of it. Not that it's going to change my point of view if you hate it, but that's okay. <laughs> and if you're having fun painting with acrylic pouring style, please come and join us on Acrylic Pouring for Fun Facebook group. And um, the only prerequisite of joining the group is that you be kind. Be kind. Be caring. And... Um, Create the result you desire to create in the world by being you. I adore you. Come join me in another video by subscribing and what else is possible? Have fun. Bye-bye.